In order to accurately reconstruct the wheel cover on a pre-war vehicle, some digital aids are used. With the 3D scanner from Curiality, the rear of the vehicle is scanned with millimeter precision. The details are digitally recorded. The goal is a plastic shaping bug from the 3D printer. It's almost impossible to imagine a modern workshop without digital aids. The part is scanned from all directions and angles. The scanner is connected to a laptop on which a special application is running. During the recording, the computer monitor can be used to observe whether the scan is being carried out perfectly, whether the distance, angle and the area of the scan are correct. The respective scan can always be viewed three-dimensionally after the recording. With the size of a vehicle or part of it, several recordings must be made. If you look very closely, as we did it here in the slow motion picture, you can see that the camera's flash projects a regular line pattern on the surface. This pattern helps the software to convert the individual images into a point cloud. Points that were glued on the body serve to simplify the matching of the individual layers. Since these points are partially repeated on the individual recordings, the recordings can be easily connected one with the other. In the software the various layers are first adjusted. You should be able to see the individual parts roughly parallel on the screen. It is advisable to only edit two layers at a time, as this is definitely easier. Identical markings are connected to each other on each layer using a special point function. It is the best to ensure that the individual matching points are on different layers. This makes it easier for the software to connect the points together and build a 3D model from the two layers. When all layers have been linked, a 3D model is calculated from the whole. This model can be further processed in the 3D or CAD program. The scan gave us a good three-dimensional view on the back of the car and we can continue work with it. It is also a good form for archiving such a rare vehicle. In our case, the cover for the wheel cover will now be created and adapted in 3D. An STL file for the 3D printing of this bug can be calculated from this data. The printing will be done in four parts.